this might be a bit of a controversial one because I know a lot of people do not like the ethics behind large language models, which unfortunately have been called AI. They are not AI in the traditional sense. They are large language models. Basically, they know how to say things in a sometimes very accurate way. And this is important because these tools have become really useful, especially at like my job and stuff, where we have to um, concatenate large larger groups of text. I'm not concatenate. We need to summarize large groups of text a lot of time for SEO reasons, whatnot. Some people are using it to write original material, which uh, it doesn't do a great job at that, but there are some fun things you can do with it. Having said that, there's a lot of small menial tasks that I used to have to spend my time doing that I can throw at these large language models and have it do for me. So things like removing errors from a list of URLs or doing basically large changes to lists of things. The same thing over and over again. And I was using OpenAI for a lot of them, and now I can do a lot of that right here locally. And even though it is it is getting better in terms of ethics, because one, this running locally means it uses the same amount of energy as, say, a game you'd play on your computer. Or so it's not using, you know, tons and tons of electricity. This can run on a laptop pretty effectively. In fact, I think this particular model they had running on a Raspberry Pi 5. With, at not terrible speeds, not great speeds like this, but not terrible. And the other thing is that it's all private because it's all on my machine. I'm using a program called GPT for all, which uh, does a good job of letting you load models locally fairly easy. It's a GUI application available Windows, Mac, Linux, free and open source. So let's look at some of the stuff it can do. Today we're going to dive into Llama 3, which is a open source, well, at least it will be, open source large language model made by Meta, aka Facebook. Now, this is their new flagship, and there's two builds. There's the large one and the small one. Small one is 7 billion. I think the large one is 70 billion. But I'm not going to try the big one. Today, I'm going to be messing with the small one because I think after playing with the small one for a few weeks, I'm thoroughly impressed. A lot of the things I was using ChatGDP 3.54, I can do with this small model locally, even with a crap video card. How old of a video card are we talking? Well, my video card uh, is an old AMD RX 6650 XT. Old video card, only 8 gigabits of RAM. But here it is running in GPT or for all, which is a free and open source loader for large language models. I have Llama 3 instruct in here, and we're gonna do some uh, some stuff with this here. So first we're gonna start with the basic stuff. Write me a, a story about a possum named Carl. And as you can see, it just goes to town, just like you'd expect any other large language model. But this it's going to write some pretty decent content here, you know, for a machine. And um, again, this is all running locally. This is running off my video card. Not bad, not bad. Once upon a time in the heart of Australia's bushland, there lived a curious and adventurous possum named Carl. Carl was an unusual possum. He had a passion for exploring new places, trying new foods, and making friends with all sorts of creatures. Pretty cool. All right, so let's do um, write another. There's, wow, another story about Carl using only words that start with. Yes. Sensational Carl scoured the sun-kissed slopes, seeking succulent snacks. Sophisticated senses steered him straight towards sacred sites where stoop serendipitous surprises await. That's pretty good. So it's able to do a lot. I'm just go ahead and delete some of these here. Delete, delete. 
um, it's able to do a lot. It's pretty powerful. Now we're going to do some coding, for example. So I'm going to write, write me a GCC code. Write me GCC code. I always worry about my grammar when talking to a robot, but the robot doesn't really know grammar. I mean, he'll figure out what I'm trying to say. Um, that will generate a random password. All right, cool. Okay, it tells me how it's working, what it's doing, all that kind of stuff. So what happens when we try to compile this? Let's switch to desktop view here. I have some versions here and we remove them. Rando, rando.c, random, random.c. Okay. PB paste my new code into random.c. Let's go to view this random code. So it looks like real code. Honestly, I'm not smart enough to know if this is a real code because I am not a programmer. So moment of truth, GCC output random.c. Oh, random. Compiled with no errors. chmod random dot slash random. And it's generating passwords. Not bad. Let's go back to this thing. Let's see if we can say, make it generate five passwords. Now let's get a look at what I gave it and it's gonna modify the code. So it has a loop that runs five iterations. So let's copy the code here. Oops, almost didn't copy that, didn't I? And I would have blamed it too. I would have been like, bam, this thing sucks. Somehow I'm having trouble copying the code. There it goes, copy. All right, so go back to the desk view here. PB paste random.c dot slash random look at that now generating code so a lot of the things that i was normally using chat gtp for it seems to be able to do pretty powerfully when it comes to low resource pull this one's really good i did have my laptop uh, running this one pretty effectively and I even have my laptop with a solar panel so that I can actually charge while enjoying this uh, which is pretty cool pretty cool so it's not the gargantuan data suck that it was is there some areas that chat GTP does better definitely but that gap is narrowing like really fast I can't stress this enough this version right now is really close like just a hair behind gtp 3.5 and i'm sure in a year llama 4 if it comes out and if it's open source will be a com direct competitor to anything these larger commercial languages are doing so it's a big win for open source it's a big win for, for privacy there are some ethical things with how it gets its data and that's something we need to work on i don't know what the solution is right now i'm sure smarter minds than me are coming up with a solution but the truth is the ai stuff's here and it's making my life easier so there it is if you found any value from this video feel free to give this video a like you can also subscribe to this channel i'm going to try to release more more videos i know i said a while ago i was going to make more videos this year than i ever have and then i was out of whack for a month plus but I moved. Um, welcome to this pink room. This used to be my mom's uh, craft room, hence the pink color. Um, and I was thinking about painting it, but I don't know, it's kind of grown on me. It's, it's very it's very warm and cozy. I also have 
the office that's going to need a lot of work in the next few months. It's a absolute mess. I'm working on that too, but uh, I'm going to try to make more videos. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs>